Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing how to use the writing tool on Cricut. And also, I will be sharing what fonts are best to use with the Cricut pens and I'll explain the reason why in a little bit. Alright, so the Cricut writing tool is this thing on the left of your Cricut machine and there's so many different pens that they have, like so many colors and etc. And this is where it would go. Make sure there's that click. And then you close it and that's all okay so these are the fonts that are perfect for the draw setting on Cricut pens I used in these are the 0.4 Cricut pens here are the fonts and these are the names of them that's what they look like I do have all of these listed in the description below these I went pretty big and you as you could see it's just one line these ones this is the biggest I could go so you won't see like double the line five inches these are seven but some of these you can go even bigger like these big ones you can go even bigger i'm gonna zoom in real quick see how right here it's already starting to be like a little bit double this is the 0.4 pen and i also did the same font in 1.0 this is the medium and with the thicker pen it just looks like all one line right here starting to double with the thin pen but the thicker pen it looks like just one line here's these two next to each other so basically in this video I will be talking and showing how instead of having the fonts to be like hollow like this for them to be just one thin line and if you skip the video to this time that's where I show how I get my free fonts to use on Cricut Design all of these fonts they're not gonna be your system fonts nor will they be on Cricut Design these are just all I downloaded alright so I'm gonna open my Cricut Design and I'm going to insert text Text. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the buttons. Okay, I'm gonna insert text and I'm just going to type my channel name. Every time you insert text, it will automatically be in a cut setting. And over here, I could change the colors of the pens and I'm just gonna keep it black and that's all. I'm using the Cricut Sans font, it's from the Cricut font that comes with the Cricut design and as you could see this is what it looks like in cut and then if you click right here there says no fill you could print this is how it's gonna print but if you click draw it's gonna be like I guess the letters are hollow I don't know how to explain that and because this is a Cricut font you go on the style over here and I'm gonna click on writing and when I do writing it looks like this on system fonts, I'm just gonna pick this a gentle touch and watch what's gonna happen when I change it to draw. It's hollow and let's do like 1.5 in width. You can't really see it. Change the letter space to zero so it's closer. And that looks nice, but what if I want it large? I don't like the hollow. Basically, you have to pick fonts that are like so thin that you could draw them out. So I did this video to show you what fonts are really good to use for this writing. This one is good, it's called Baby Lexi Skinny. It's literally one line and I can make it really big and it's still gonna draw one line. Like if it's eight inches in width, or it's like, if it's one and a half inches tall, it looks like a single writing, right? But the bigger I make, you can see that letters become hollow. Another font that I downloaded, now this font, I mean, you can make it pretty big. This is like 12 inches and it looks almost like a single line. But again, it's the Cricut fonts that will be the best writing fonts, but I Lot of them you have to pay for them so this is why i'm gonna show you how i get my free ones you can go on dafont.com and you could just search thin font or you could just search the name of the font that you would like and you scroll down and see what they have another website that i like is a thousand one fonts.com I, I use this one the most because when you go on font categories you could see this weight and you could pick thin or hairline so i'm just gonna pick hairline and you can see all these fonts like these ones super good this one this one these are really good to use for writing or you could search the font like and they have it right here they have a lot of fonts this is my favorite website to use so i'm gonna download right here click this green button 
I have Mac, so this is where my downloads are. I'm going to click on the folder. So I'm going to click on the first one, and this is what pops up. And I'm going to install the font. And this is what opens up. And I could search in here, Baby Lexi. Baby Lexi Skinny. This is this one. And then the Baby Lexi, it's that one. And it's out here. Font is so cute. It has little hearts. Another website I like is fontbundles.net. And they do have a lot of free fonts, but a lot of them you, you could pay for them, which is nice because then you could make items out of them and sell them. They have so many pretty ones. And then you could also go like right here, free fonts. And then you could scroll through them, see what they have and it's the same thing once you click on it and download free now it's gonna go up here and it's gonna be the same thing and then you just download the ttf this is for my mac so much for watching this video i hope you like the video if you have any questions comment below be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up also check out my little online store where i make these cute little baby head wraps there's many pattern sizes from newborn to adult, big bow headbands, um, you could just check it out, but these are my top sellers. Also, new thing, I'm starting to add baby and children's clothing to my line store. I'll do a video about that, talk about it more, but anyway, so all the links are posted below in the description to the fonts and where I get the fonts and my website and just all the links, so check it out. All right, thank you, bye.